Okay, here's the Unit Q review part four. New batteries in the machine or in the video camera. Okay, so um, we have um, a wire. By the way, that last one was a negative. That ended up with a negative. Um, I'll probably put that on as an annotation, but that, that's actually a negative. If you're wondering where the negative sign is. Okay, so um, we have a current flowing through this wire, and the current is increasing with time. And first of all, could you tell me which way um, the the current will be induced in here? Which way will the current be induced in there? Okay, so if the current's increasing with time, it looks like we have um, um, dots, and so it's going to try and make um, X's because it wants to keep the flux from changing. And so since there's dots, since the current's coming out at us on this side, then it's going to try and make X's, and to make X's, it's going to... I don't know if you can see my hand, but it's it's going to rotate. To make X's, it's going to rotate this way. And so it's going to go like that. Okay, now um, I'd like to find the flux. So can you see if you can find the flux in this coil? Um, it's a distance A away here and B away from there. Okay, so do your best to find the, the flux in this coil. I'll see you in a bit. It's a long, It's long, so... Okay, so here we're back. To find the flux, um, first of all, you need to know that the field is changing as you go out. In fact, um, the field, if you, the magnetic field is, if you used Ampere's law, you'd know that it was mu naught times I all over 2 pi R. That's the magnetic field as you go out. Um, to get that, you, you just derive that with Ampere's law. Okay, well... Um, that means then that the flux is different, the field is different everywhere. So, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a little, little rectangle. Now this rectangle is going to have a very thin dr, and um, it's going to, but it's going to have a the width of this. Oh, I needed to tell you the width. Sorry about that. The width of this, let's say, is c. Okay, so. Um, so the flux just in this little guy right here, the little flux, because it's dr, the little flux, I'll call it d phi because it's so little, it's going to be equal to the b there, which is um, mu naught times i, now i is kt, all over 2r, so that's the b times um, the the area. Now the area is a dA, so it's going to be C times dR. That's what the area is, C times dR. That's the little flux. Now to get the total flux then, the total flux through the hoop will integrate from um, R equals A to R equals B. We'll integrate this whole thing. Okay, now um, that may look like a bear to integrate, but it isn't. You just pull out all the constants. And so if I pull out all the constants, um, I'm integrating with respect to dr, not with respect to t, so I can pull that t out. And so that's the natural log of R. So I'll put that over here. I'm going to come all the way over here and put it over here. So the flux is equal to mu naught k t c for 2 pi. And that's the natural log of B minus the natural log of A. I need to sneak some absolute value signs in there. Okay, and that's going to be, I can simplify that to this. Okay, now... <coughs> Can you tell me um, what the EMF will be induced in there then? How, how much EMF will be induced in this hoop? 
Sorry about the last time about the C thing. Okay, tell me what the EMF will be if this is the flux. Okay, uh, maybe I'll try and get that done in the bottom of this paper. The EMF will just be the rate at which the flux is changing with time. So I'm going to take the derivative of this with respect to time. So you can pull this out of the integral, everything except time. And so I'm... Um, and that just gives you this. If I do that, I put the negative so I don't forget it. And it's going to be mu naught k c over 2 pi times the natural log of b over a. I just took the derivative of this with respect to time. And look, the only thing that's, that's changing with time is the t. So you have dt over dt, which is 1. Okay, so um, that's the EMF that's induced. Okay. Hey, um, could you tell me um, which way this wire is going to be pushed? This wire is going to actually feel a force up, down, to the left, or to the right. Can you tell me which way it's going to get pushed? Okay, the answer is that it will be pushed down. Um, let's see why. Um, I think it will be. Let me just check. Okay, so you got you have dots coming out so there's dots here on this side due to this wire there's dots now they're decreasing though and so if there's dots coming out oh I got this wrong and there's a field go and the currents go in this way then it's gonna get pushed up so this side is gonna be pushed up this side will be pushed this way this side is gonna be pushed down but not as much because it's in a weaker field this field is stronger as you get closer to the wire so this arrow is smaller than that see how big that arrow is and that's a small one and these arrows cancel each other out and so the net force is up the net force is up on that one okay let's try and get this last guy in here as I pull this in this is a wire it's got a, a width W and a height H as I pull this in, can you tell me um, which way the current will be induced as it goes in? Okay, so dots are going to, it's gaining dots, so it's going to try and make um, its own X's, and so it's going to have a current that's going to be induced this way. That's how it makes its own X's. Okay, then, when it's on its way out of the field... Incidentally, when it's in the field, completely in the field, there'll be no current because the flux isn't changing with time. But now, as it's heading this way, um, which way will the current be in here now? Okay, so it's it's um, losing dots, so it's going to try and make dots, and so it's going to go this way this time. Whereas this time it went... This one was clockwise... This one is counterclockwise. Okay, can you tell me which direction the force will be? There'll be a, a magnetic force on this hoop. Which way will the magnetic force be on this hoop? Okay, so um, if I just look at that spoke, the field is coming out at us, so that this one is going to be... going to. I put my thumb in the direction of the current, which is that way, and the field is out at us, so it's going to be pushed this way. This is going to be pushed up. This will be pushed down. Those cancel. This won't be pushed at all because it's not in the field. And so um, it's being pushed to the left. So this one's being pushed to the left. Can you tell me which way this one's going to be pushed? <coughs> okay, this time um, this current is heading down. And so the field is up at us. So this is going to be pushed this way. This one will be pushed um, down. But it's going to be canceled with that one being pushed up. And this side won't be pushed at all because it's not in the field. It's not in the field. So it's also being pushed to the left. So the resistance is to the left. All right. I'm going to call that a review session for this. All right. Good luck to you. Bye.